Yo, what is good, guys? It's your boy Kane. Yes, sir. I'm back with another video. And it's been a minute since I've done a video like this, but I've been working hard on the FPS series with Lyra, and I've also been streaming and working on back end stuff. But I finally got to a point where I can show you guys my front end working successfully and having everything kind of flow correctly. So here we're going to log in using the Steam key. As you see this login screen is very temporary. You won't even see these uh, email and password input parameters here. None of these buttons will be here and you'll have like an option to log in just like you do with epic games you can log in with all those different providers and then we'll go from there uh just to mention i also integrated the redpoint eos plugin into my project so i am using eos as you'll see here when we log in so we got a successful login now you can see i'm uh, i'm now online and i can press shift f3 to open up my friends you see uh, i'm using my nephew's account here uh, to log in as a new player. And when you log in as a new player, you get presented with this screen here. I probably should put some text like select, you know, select which sex you want your character to be. And then we start, actually if we're starting with the male character, you can say no, it'll take you back and you can do female. But right now, only thing I got working is the male. Uh, I don't want to get canceled for saying that though. It's just I, that if the male works, the female works, okay. Uh, so we'll we'll start with the male character and then this is a, a work in progress here this is actually where you'll start uh, adding things to your player like different heads and different equipment and stuff like that and then you can hit finish and then you'll be taken to the login screen where you can log in with that player that was created and this is crazy because this player was created on the ba on the back end service of playfab so if I pull over my playfab here and I take a look, you see right now I only got one player, but if I refresh this, since we just logged in, now we have two players and we just created an account. And if I go to this account, you can see it's using the open ID, meaning I logged in with EOS, but I also linked it with Steam here. So it's linked with Steam. So that allows me to do things through Steam. And if we go over here to characters, uh, you see that male character 4350, I just added a, a random number to the end of male character and give it the type Archangel. Uh, and you'll see here we got Archangel and that male character 43. And this is pulling that information from the back end server. So if I click on this, I'll log into the lobby with that character as my default character, meaning any game I go into, it'll progress that character and that character only. It won't, you know, give me XP for another character that I might have or what or whatnot. Um, here we have a few things. These buttons just pull up what I want to happen here. I want you to be able to uh, co-op and I want you to be able to jump into PVP as well. See so rank, quick play. These are my just this is just look dev this is placeholder stuff none of this stuff actually connects to a server that's next on my to-do list but we'll get that done probably in the next month or so i know i posted on my community tab saying that i was switching to aws but boy i got into that shit and i was like boy look at all this i gotta learn all this just to get all the stuff that i already have working in aws and i'm sorry in playfab man i'm not trying to i'm not trying to do that but okay so you see i got quests set up uh, this is just a system that is also governed by playfab this is using items in the inventory and you can like go ahead and equip one of these quests to your player and it'll track it will add some character specific data to your character letting letting us start tracking this here so this for this kill enemies 50 right here it'll add a tag to your player or add a stat to your player that has kind of like a, na a name and structure that i set up and the value of it will be 50 and then every time you get a kill i'll subtract from that stat and once that stat is zero a uh, play stream event will fire and it'll grant you whatever the xp or the rewards that you get and also i set up this look dev for like a, just when you get more items for your character you can go in and customize them but it's, it's all look dev this is just pulling from the items that we have available on the character right now uh which is which is just placeholder stuff just to show that this all kind of works then i have this the buy fallen coins here so you can like click on this and a, 
the steam uh while it will pop up i'm in the sandbox so this is not actually charging me or anything but we can go ahead and authorize this transaction you see i bought a thousand coins if i go back here my currency down here at the bottom is now two thousand just to show you that that's working we can go to the shop again which i also set up with playfab this is also pulling data from my back end uh my inventory on not my inventory but the catalog on the back end if i go to economy over here on my play fab and we look at skins you can see that all of these wings default demon legend verde yellow jacket all of these items are these five items right here uh so yeah what i was trying to show is that if i buy another thousand fallen coins authorize that and i go back you'll see my currency is now three thousand this currency is player wide uh, i didn't want to do the currency to be character specific i want it to be on your player and then so you can grind with one player and then take that currency over to another player because this currency only gets you cosmetic items it doesn't get you anything like xp or anything like that it's only cosmetic so i want you to be able to grind on one character and say, okay, I want to make a female character and go make a female and then use your currency that you have to, to kind of make that female look, you know, fresh as fuck. You did what I'm saying? On fleek. What are, they, what are these kids saying nowadays? I don't know. But yeah, uh, so we got some other things that I need to get set up. This armory, I don't believe this is set up. Yeah, this doesn't even do anything. But yeah, um, here we got uh, the credits and that's something that was built into lyra and then we got the options here to go ahead and like change the different options that we want in the in the main menu or in the lobby but this is just a look dev for what i want actually what's going to happen is a lot cooler and I, i'll reveal that when i get to that point but i really just want to give you guys an update because i've been working a lot and i haven't really been communicating with you guys on what's happening with the project it might seem like i just toss it aside and start working on tutorials but pretty much i just been behind the scenes working you know getting better at art getting better at uh, this back end shit i've been learning javascript it's uh it's been a it's been a hassle man so yeah, that's pretty much all I want to show in this video. Was, uh, I hope it was cool to you guys because this, this shit is cool to me that pretty much everything in here is getting pulled from a, a, a database. And I'll tell you, last year, I would have never thought that I was able to like set up a database or set up uh, some back end stuff and then get it to pull properly into the game and everything's working. But yeah, that's all I want to share in this video. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.